done this before you fly I won't catch you, don't know I'm stolen Cause you love to have them all crying mm-hmm. Gonna be sweet day Tell me you need me bad about um, talking on the vlog. Sorry friends, been overwhelmed with traveling. So we're gonna give a little recap while I get unready. So when we got here, we flew into Rome and then we went to Florence right when we got there because that first night we had a rehearsal dinner. day we went to the wedding and it was at a place called Dante's house. Dante is a famous poet in Italian history. I personally know nothing about him but my girlfriend that got married here she and I went to college together. We were roommates. We were also sorority sisters and she was an art history major and she studied abroad here in Florence her freshman year and that is where her and her boyfriend now husband met but it was really pretty it like looked over all of florence we could see the entire city um i drank everything i drank everything I had prosecco i had white wine i had red wine i had a dessert wine i had gimlets i had um an aperol spritz i had like two or three espressos the next morning i woke up with the most pounding headache of my life
So currently we are at the Arno River. I'm standing on the Arno Bridge. You see? You see the moon right there? It looks amazing. Um, but yeah, this is where Rob proposed to Anna and that is what brought us to Italy. We just went to their wedding last night and I've been recovering from a hangover all day. But yeah, now we're out in the city. Florence is absolutely beautiful. You can walk the entire city. So we are basically just walking around right now. We got a cappuccino, we're gonna get some gelato, you know. Then we went to the Amalfi Coast and that was really cool. Amalfi Coast is like what you see on Pinterest, like the coast with like really high rocks and then you see all the houses and they're all colorful. Cinque Terre is like a national park and there's five towns within it. So we stayed in La Spezia. It's Italiano. And then we hopped on the train, went to the towns, and we took a boat tour. So we got to see all the towns from the coast, which was really nice. If you ever come to Italy, the transportation is super, super efficient because you just get everywhere by train, which is so nice. I've never actually even ridden a train in the US. I've only ever done it when I've left the country. But yeah, they're public transportation is super efficient. We just got to Mernola. It's in Cinque Terre, so there's like five villages and they're like five minutes apart from the train. So I'm gonna show you guys the city. We're gonna city hop and then we're gonna go on a sunset tour so you can see all of the villages from the ocean because it's best to look at the coast. Um, so yeah. locations we are now at Vernaza. You can see all the boats, hold on, I'm gonna show you. Hungaria. It's really beautiful. It's on one of the islands called Lido. So we took a water taxi to get here and the hotel is beautiful. It's like this massive castle. We took a cooking class today. That was so much fun. So we just finished our food class and we're trying to walk off all of that food. I'm so stuffed. 
think we're gonna go to the river and get a coffee. Yeah, we'll check back in. train it's probably gonna be like five to six hours on the train maybe even more I don't know to Rome so Rome is our last stop y'all better watch out I'm in sport mode because now that like I have a feel of the country we like can better plan but um, we really only got like one full day in each city which isn't enough I think you need two full days in each place you go but not cities but you know what I mean it's weird because when you're in another country like we have states but I never know like in another country like is Venice a Venice is a city I guess yeah yeah I don't know I'm just used to the United States we have our states blonde moment so, so while I get unready, I'm going to think of things that are different about Italy that you might not know, that you want to know before you come here. The bread is not as good as you would think. Like, I was really excited to pig out on bread. It's not all that great. Um, and it's served with just olive oil, no butter. Butter with your bread is like kind of not a thing. Not luscious bread. I was really excited about the bread, but breakfast their breakfast is just coffee and pastries so you will have to go somewhere that says American breakfast if you want eggs and bacon that's kind of common in a lot of other countries of course um, what else what else what else what else oh yeah everywhere we go they have been listening to American music like I have barely heard any Italian music with words like there might be like you know instrumental music playing in restaurants but for the most part, everywhere we've gone has had American music playing. When they come to the table, they're always gonna ask you if you want water. You have to specify that you want still water because most of the time they all drink sparkling. Water is not free or refill. Like you will buy a bottle of water, whether it be Aquapana, it's gonna be still sparkling. Um, what else is the other one? Um, the tap water is good here to drink though, it's really good. So I've drank tap water when we've been in Airbnbs and hotels. Wine is an acceptable drink, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
they will have wine, they will not ID, like you just, doesn't matter how old you are, you can drink wine here. Um, you don't tip here. We have tipped people and they've been like super, super grateful, but you don't have to. Uh, what else? So they don't have like an Alfredo pasta. So don't expect to come here and get like Alfredo. You can get something called Carpaccio, I believe, which is what I prefer. It's like a more simple pasta. All their food is in courses. So you normally eat anywhere between three to five courses. So they have pasta first and then they have like a meat or a fish dish. Coffee is customary to be drank after a meal. In your meal with coffee or a shot of limoncello. I took my first shot of limoncello tonight. That was really good. Aperol spritz is from here. Um, I've had two now. I thought I was gonna like it more. I wanted to like it more just because it looks really good. Um, but there's bitters in it and I just couldn't get past the bitters. Like it just stays in your mouth for a really long time. Pepperoni pizza is not a thing. They won't really know what you're talking about if you say that. So you can get like a salami pizza or there's one called Diavola, Diavola. So note that. And the pizza is different in like every region. That's the word I was looking for earlier, region. Cause you know, I said in the US they have states here. I guess you would call it different regions. I don't know. I'm not a geography buff, okay?